folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make a great week, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 224, NASDAQ off 27, S&P's down 11. Gold, gold contract down $12.10, trading at 2,041 an ounce. We got silver down 37 cents, $22.42 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 52 cents, $72.80 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note down 28 ticks, trading 110.25. The 30 year is up a full point, plus 24 ticks at 120.05. 10 year is yielding 4.160 in King Dollar. King Dollar straightened up 554 ticks. 104, 474, Euro 107, Yen 148, British Pound 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, once again, you just don't have sellers, man. You know, you take a look at this S&P. First, if we go into the... S&P futures, the contract, what you're going to see is that you got all the way down to 49.37. You rejected lower price. You get, you're at 32 points above that. You're down 10. And then if we get into the SPY and you take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see is that you back down. You rejected $490.23. And see this contraction of volume? That's what it's all about, man. So you did both. You rejected lower price. The contraction on volume is a big one, man, because if you're going to get any follow through, that's where it should come from, and you get zero. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. Same type of setup inside the NDX, the three Qs. What you're going to see with the three Qs, the three Qs pushing Friday on volume, had uh, 80, no, 90, 59 million shares. 59 million shares pushing into the 45 million shares at highs. You back down today with 32, so we'll probably do 40. You get to 425, same setup. Rejects lower price, has lighter volume. That's a market that wants higher price. And in particular, this is what is really wild here. And this is, you know, this has been such an intriguing market, and you can learn so much from it because at big cycle turns, which we have, meaning the interest rate structure, this is where notes, bonds, dollar, commodities, market, all come together. And what you're going to see out here, inside the dollar, you know, the dollar has been basically relentless, you know, building cars going sideways. Was it going to fall apart? Well, who knows? The bottom line is that now it's going to go for the 0.618 retracement of the whole move down from four months ago. Right now it's up 566 at 104. 482. Now, that being said, what that doll is telling me is that, number one, we'll probably go for it, but you're not going to hold it. And the reason I'm saying that is that the bond market is number one. So if we go over to the bond market, what you're going to see is this. Now, the bond market didn't hold price today. That being said, you still have this contraction of volume that's happening. We've done 1.2 million contracts right now. Well, you're going into 3.2 million, 3 million contracts, okay? That ain't even close as to, and that's what markets love to do. They break top side, drive everyone crazy, pull back down, lighter volume, they reject lower price, then you're going higher. And that's what this market wants. And, and what I mean by the, these larger cycles, which is cool, is that there's more than one place that you can check your work. And so in the gold market, see, you can also check your work. Why? Because the bottom line is that when you have the dollar up like this, when you have bonds that are going with higher yield, the gold market should be smoked. And it's not. 
It went down to 2030.80 today. It reject lower price. It's going to have lighter volume after we went topside last week with volume. We start putting that all together, and what that says is that higher prices are coming at us, period. You know, it's, it's, the rates are not going to be a linear move, as I said, but it's going to be choppy. But guess what? The market knows. The buyers know. You know, of course, we're all still in the speculative business, but, you know, these, these larger cycles. You don't, you don't get to see a lot of them. Well, you can see what hadn't ended up happening, you know, when you really look at it. Rates are 14.5% when I was 22 years old, right? I'm 73 years old. At 71 years old, they were zero. They go from zero to, let's say, five and a half on the 10 year, right? And now you're gonna have that cycle turn once again. So it's, it's, the whole thing is wild watching how this whole thing shakes out. We take a look at the higher volume equities out here today. Oh, Tesla. Tesla's on its way down to this, uh, 108. Yeah, take a look at Tesla. This is, there's, there's some heat here in Tesla, man. Tesla, I think it's at 180 today. Yeah, 179, down eight bucks. But you can see it's sticking out like a sore thumb. Let me pull this over here. And there she is. Look at this. That last low that was established in Tesla, and that's it. One oh yeah, one oh one. One oh one. Yeah, one oh one. Um it's a high volume low. It's gonna go after that high volume low. You get a you get a picture. I mean Musk, he got out at four hundred, four ten. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Now yeah, even where it is right now, one eighty. You know. Big, 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 big numbers. No, no doubt about that. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading down two two fifty seven, yeah, but then the NASDAQ off 43, S&Ps are off 15, gold's off uh, 1260, you got the silver market off 38. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with our uh, man, Mr. Steve Rhodes.